Welcome to this short video on how to use the Alert Monitor in Mainframe Team Center Network Management. The Alert Monitor shows the latest alerts for network resources in real time. The information on this page shows the severity of alerts for a resource and provides an integrated alert notification system. It displays all the alerts since the last time your system was restarted. The Alert Monitor tells you that a problem has been detected. You can open alerts and see their details, along with the system action and recommended action for you to take on each alert. You may also have email alerts set up in your CA Netmaster mainframe environment, and you want it to view the Alert Monitor in Mainframe Team Center Network Management. The Alert Monitor provides an exception alert notification system for network administrators and network operators. These users might watch their systems closely for any alerts to their network resources. As alerts are received, this page updates automatically. This video will show you how to access the Alert Monitor, view the list of alerts and actions that you can perform on this page, search for an alert, view an alert, and then change the severity of an alert, add a note to the alert, and close an alert. Now, let's discuss how to access the Alert Monitor. You can access the Alert Monitor from the Monitoring tab. You can also come to the Alert Monitor from the IP Summary page. Or, you might have received an email or a direct URL to the Alert Monitor. When you first access this page, you can sort by any column, including the most recent or oldest alert, the description, the resource name, the severity level, the system that produced the alert, the date and time when the alert first occurred, how long ago the alert was sent, and the number of occurrences of this alert. In this example, you are sorting by highest severity level first. If you right-click any column, you can select which columns to show or hide. After you make your selection, click OK and the alert monitor updates with your changes. In this example, you removed resource and system from the list. Then you added source and class ID and all your changes now appear in the alert monitor. You can also pause the alert monitor from displaying new alerts, such as if many alerts are coming in at one time, and you want to pause the list to focus on a specific group of alerts for now. The bottom of the page shows your severity summary. In this example, you have two SEV1s, 35 SEV2s, 11 SEV3s, and 15 SEV4s. When you select one or more alerts, you can right-click or use the Actions for Selected Alerts option to open the alert details, close the alert, or change the severity of one or multiple alerts. Keep in mind that if you want to add a note to the alert before closing it, you can also open the alert details, add a note, and then close the alert from the alert details. If you have many results in your list, you can also search the alerts to narrow your results quickly. Let's search for an alert. In this example, you searched on a description that contains IP node. Several alerts appeared from around the same time that say, IP node net status is timeout. Let's open this alert to view the alert details. You can select the first alert in your search results, click the actions for selected alerts, and click details. You can also right click the alert and select these same actions, or you can simply double click the alert. The alert detail shows information about the alert, including the severity level, in this case two, the system name, the TCP IP services application, the IP node monitor attribute status class, and the IP address of the resource. Then it shows you some status information such as when the alert was created, updated, last occurred, the number of occurrences, elapsed time, and if the alert was closed. A hyphen indicates that the alert has not yet been closed. If you scroll through the alert details, you see a description about this alert. In this case, a value of timeout was returned by the last data sample of the NAT status attribute of resource IP node and then its IP address. An alert is raised when this value is detected. Status-related enumerated attributes generally indicate whether a device is operational or in a desired state. Device statuses may be other than normal if one of the following conditions occurs. A device is reporting a problem condition. A device has been started but has not yet completely initialized. A device has not yet been started. Going further in the alert details, you see the system action that says, if an alert already exists for this attribute and resource, 
its elapsed time and occurrence count are incremented. If not, a new alert is raised. The recommended action says, use the IP resource monitor, IP node monitor, or the performance options to view the performance history of this resource. To see the values of all recent samples, use the sample values graph. Use the IP monitors or the diagnostics options to look for possible problems with the resource. The recommended action continues with some additional steps that you can take. If you want to add a note to this alert, scroll to the bottom of the details, add your note, and click Apply. In this example, you are changing the alert from Severity 2 to Severity Level 3. The alert dialog shows that you modified this alert. If you are familiar with some alerts and you want to perform actions without having to open the alert details, you can use the Actions menu. To access this menu, click an alert or multiple alerts and then use the Action for Selected Alerts menu. You can also just right-click an alert or alerts and see these same options. These options include open the alert details, close the alert, though a confirmation dialog appears before you can actually close it, change the severity level. If you change the severity level from this menu, you do not have to click apply, such as on the alert details dialog. Also, you cannot add a note from the alert monitor page, just the alert details dialog. This concludes the introduction to the alert monitor. In this video, you learned how to access the alert monitor and how and why you'd want to use it, such as to monitor your network resource alerts in real time. You also learned how to search for an alert, how to review the alert details about how to resolve it, how to change the severity level, and how to close an alert. You can find additional CA Netmaster product documentation at docops.ca.com. Thanks for watching.